Today's topic is about creating deepfake videos, featuring multiple faces, using free online tools. As an example, I will use this video footage, which has several people in it, and then use deepfake to replace these three individuals in the video with these three faces. At the end, I will share the results. So, let's get started. First click the Colab link in the description, and it will bring you to this page. I'm using an upgraded version of the AI tool Roop, with all issues fixed. So, after logging in with your Google account, you will encounter three cells. First and foremost, ensure you are connected. If not, click on the connect button to link it to the GPU. Next, hover your mouse cursor inside the bracket, on the first cell. A play icon will appear, click on it, and a warning will pop up. Simply hit run anyway, and the process will begin. Be patient, as the first cell might take some time to complete. Once done, you will see a reassuring green check mark. Likewise, go ahead and run the second cell and confirm a successful process by checking for the green check mark. However, before progressing to the third cell, click on the left panel here to open the files window. Now, to upload your video footage and images, click here. Select the files and then hit open. If you come across a warning notification, just click OK to proceed. Keep in mind that the upload time for the video will differ based on the clip's length, so anticipate a bit of a wait. Now, click the three dots next to the video you uploaded, or right-click on it, and choose Copy Path. Then, in the third cell paste the path where you see Target. Similarly, for the first image, click the three dots, choose Copy Path, and paste the path where it's labeled Source. Now, let's pinpoint which face you want to change. Enter this command here, the number represents the specific location of your face from the left, starting with zero. I'm using zero as I will swap the first face from the left. Once done, click this play icon to run the third cell. The processing will start, and you will need to wait until it's done. To verify, keep an eye on the green check mark. On the left panel, if your newly created video isn't visible, click refresh. Your deepfake video will show up, labeled as swap.mp4. Moving on, if you want to swap another person's face in the video, follow the same steps as before. However, this time, the target video will be the swapped.mp4 file. So, begin by right-clicking on it and renaming it. Then, right-click on it again and choose Copy Path. After that, in the third cell, paste the path where it indicates Target. In the same way, update the image by clicking on the three dots, selecting Copy Path, and then paste the path where it's labeled as Source. But before you run the third cell, don't forget to update this number, indicating the face you want to swap. Once that's done, feel free to run the cell. Keep in mind, there's no need to run the first two cells every time. Continue this process with all the faces in the video you want to deepfake. Once done, click on the three dots against the swapped.mp4 file and select the download option to save it to your computer. So, here are the results. If you found this video helpful, then go ahead and hit that like button, share the video with your friends, and maybe even subscribe.